Hey guys, what's up? What is good? It's me, Mike Matei, TTM Mike, coming at you with a PSA card reveal. A couple of cards here. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 18, maybe 20 cards. But uh, yeah, so finally PSA is trying to catch up, I guess. So um, I received an order here. From Mike O. If you don't know Mike O, Mike O, he's got a great channel on YouTube. And uh, he's got a, a, a page on fam, on uh, Facebook. So just look up Mike O, Mike O. I've been submitting with Mike O my cards for well over a year. He's a good guy, very trustworthy. And uh, does a great job of handling your cards. Treats them as if they were his own. Mike actually doesn't accept cards for grading to uh, PSA anymore. He's strictly dealing with, uh, with SGC now. So there's another guy doing the uh, PSA DNAs, JT24 I believe his name is. So I haven't dealt with JT but um, from, the look of, from the looks of things, uh, JT is doing a good job also. So uh, that's it. Let's get to the cards. First one I have here is from the TV show, Fear the Walking Dead. I'm a big fan of the Walking Dead television show, and this is a spinoff to that show, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. So this one is The Calvar Calvary Arrives, and it received a near mint 8. So 2017, Fear the Walking Dead, Calvary Arrives, Wide Vision, Number 13, Calvary Arrives, received an 8. My second card here is an another Fear the Walking Dead. And this was called Rations. And uh, this card received a 9, a mint 9. 2017, Fear the Walking Dead, Rations. Wide vision received a nine. So this card looks exactly to be in this exact same condition as the eight. Don't know why they gave that one an eight and this one a nine, but whatever. I'll take it. That's an 80. This Fear the Walking Dead is an 80 card set. I believe I have a couple more cards at PSA. And uh, I think I'm going to submit a couple more cards pretty soon. So uh, that's it for the walk-in Fear the Walking Dead cards. Now we have, I'm going to go from bad to best. So this was a Brooks Robinson card. Uh, 1961, I believe. And uh, as you can see, we had issues there. This is like a dinged corner. Rounded off corner. So I knew I wasn't going to get a great grade. I just wanted my Brooks Robinson graded. And here it is. Still looks good. It received a good miscut and received a two. But I don't care. As you can see the miscut right there. I knew going into it this wasn't going to be a high graded card. There's the ding on the corner and chipping on the edges and it's miscut. So... Some rounding on this corner, but it's a Brooks Robinson card from 1961. So I just wanted to get it graded, and there it is. Good, too. I think the next one is also a Brooks Robinson card. Yes, sir. Brooks Robinson from 1966. And as you can see, it's pretty off center there. All this chunky chunkage here, and basically nothing there. And there's like a stain on it. and But like I said, I wasn't expecting much. I expect tens and nines from today's cards, not from these vintage cards. So I just wanted, there's another imperfection there with the corner all jacked up. So uh, this one received, that's a classic card there at Yankee Stadium. You can see the facade there, Yankees facade. So, and then it's got this smudge piece of, I don't know, maybe the person had tape on it that owned this. 
So this one received a three. Very good three. 1966 tops. Brooks Robinson. Very good three. So hey, I'll take it. I'm not against getting a three. It's, uh, I PC. I PC uh, Brooks Robinson. So I will gladly accept this vintage card in a three. I knew going into it when I sent it in, it wasn't going to grade high because of stuff like that and miscuts. So I will take it. I mean, this should have came back as a miscut also, but they didn't put it on the label as miscut. They just said very good. So I'll take it. Brooks Robinson Hall of Famer, the human vacuum. So this one here is a 1968 Topps game. I'm trying to put this set together. I have a few more to go. I think maybe less than 20. So as you can see, this card had some issues. It's got an ink mark back there. Some stainage going on there. It's off center. So again, it's another card that I did not expect to get a high grade on. And uh, I sent them in that way. I, I'm just trying to complete this set graded. This is a 33 card set. And I'm just trying to get it all graded up. This is Dean Chance, former uh, California Angel. And it received a three. Very good three. 1968 Tops game. Dean Chance. Coming up next. Same thing. Ricky Henderson. I knew going into this. That the card was not in the greatest of shape. As you can see there. There's some whiting right there. It's a little off center. Top to bottom. It's off center. But it's a Ricky Henderson, uh, what's this, third year card, second year card, something like that. Nice looking card to me. It's got eye appeal, good eye appeal. It's got a little, uh, I don't know, is that a cool bent? I don't know. So anyway, this received a four. Very good, excellent four. So, I don't usually flip my cards anyway, so... This stays in the collection, stays in the PC. I just wanted it pretty much protected from being damaged any further. You can see some damage there. So, just to protect the cards, I sent them into PSA. I know it's pretty much a lot of money, but, you know, I thought this card was an overall. I was actually expecting maybe a six, but it's a four. I'll take it. Coming up is a 1968 Tops game card again. As you can see, this is off centered. All this white white area here, and a little bit of white area there in the border. But uh, same thing, top to bottom. So this is a Ron Santo, and it's a little off discolored also. But like I said, I'm trying to put this set together. As you can see, this is. Card number 19 in a series of 33. I lost track of how many I have, but I, I believe it's in the 20s. But uh, this card received a excellent to mint 6. So that's not a bad grade for a 68, 1968 card of Ron Santos. Santo. So, that's a keeper. This next card is an old card, man. I think this is what? As 1948 football Bowman card that I had hanging around there. And I finally said, you know what, let me get this. Before this gets creased up or dinged up or ruined any more than it already is. Let me send it to PSA to get graded. As you can see, it's discolored. It's turning brown. So this is a card of uh, 1948 Bowman Frank Masnicki. Nice card. Who did he play for? Mm, doesn't say. Oh, for the Bears. So he played for the Chicago Bears. The Bears. So this card received an excellent mint six. So not bad for a 1948 card, you know. For uh, 70... 72 year old card 
Yep, 72 year old card. Come coming back in a six. Who knows? I might be able to flip this one. Not sure. I'm not trying to complete the set or anything. I just had one or two of these around. I had the had some baseball red backs also. So uh just trying to uh grade all my vintage loose cards. So I was shocked this came back a six. I will definitely take that. That one might be flipped, you never know. And this is a LeBron James upper deck promo card from 2003 his rookie year there you go top prospect card it's a 2003 upper deck top prospects LeBron James promo card you can see it says upper deck promo right there and this card received a 7 near mint 7 so I, I know all the grades that I got. I, Michael put on a video on his uh, YouTube channel. So check out Michael's uh, YouTube channel. The name of it is Michael. And uh, he, uh, he shows off the grades on his channel. So this was a young LeBron. As a matter of fact, this was the McDonald's All-Star Game for high school hoopers. You can see in his arms, no tattoos. Well, he's got one tattoo, but... He had his original mane of hair. Now I think that's a transplant he's got now. But uh, nice card. Received a seven. Wish it would have received higher. But hey, I had that box. I had that card laying around in a shoebox. So. And uh, this next one is a Raphael Devers Tops card. And this was one of his first cards. This came out in 2014. It's a pretty nice card there. It's a 2014 Bowman DP Raphael Devers Top Prospects Asia Black. Nice card. And it received a near mint mint 8. So. Was hoping to get. A better grade between a 9 and a 10, but hey, take the 8. This card is, what, 6 years old, 2014? I'll take it. And this next card is a Larry Bird. Larry Bird basketball card. It was an action pack. Basketball Hall of Fame. Larry Bird card. These are these are like embossed, so they like stand out. It's not a, your regular card. These actually like the image comes up, make gives it like a three D effect. So anyway, I received a near mint mint eight on this card. So very nice card. Another one that I had grouped up in a shoebox, and I just decided, hey, let me send this in. So this is the final uh, card of the uh, 1968 Tops cards game, Tops game cards that I submitted. As you can tell, it is off center there. I mean, it's off center left to right and top to bottom. But I don't care. I sent in to get graded. I want to complete this set. This is a Orlando Cepeda set, ground out. 1968 Tops game, Orlando Sopeda, and this received a near mint, mint 8. So that's a damn good grade for that card. Very nice. And then I have this Raleigh Fingers Fleer card. And this was packed, pulled back in the days. What year is this? 1999. 21 years ago, man. So here it is. It's an autograph card. Old faces in new places. And there's his autograph. And then they would like... I don't know what they call that. Embossed. But it's like the label. FLIR. Company name. FLIR. Authentication stamp. So this received a near mint 8. 1999 Sports Illustrated, great to the game. I used to love these uh, Fleer greats of the games, man. I miss Fleer. Fleer had some uh, 
these are Sports Illustrated cards. They had a lot of autograph cards in a hobby box. So, it's a great card of a Hall of Famer, Raleigh Fingers. And this next card is a Barry Bonds rookie card from the 86 Tops Traded, I believe it was. Yep. So, there he is. I brought this, I brought a box of the Tops Traded for ten dollars at a flea market and i said you know what this looks pretty good let me send it in to be graded and it received a nine mint nine 1986 top straight at barry bonds mint nine so of course you want a 10 this card's from 1986 it's over 30 years old right 34 years old i think it is maybe more I don't know. my math might be off but Barry Bonds. So I have another Barry Bonds out there. It's a uh, Tops 87, I think. So hey, took a shot. Almost had that 10, but came back a 9. I'll keep it. Still a great card. Then we have this Ken Griffey uh, baseball card. <clears throat> I bought this at a, a local sporting goods store. They were selling it at a sporting goods store. And they were blowing it out. The whole box contains, I think, 50 cards, I think. So it's 2006 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. World Baseball Classic. And that's the card right there. Beautiful card with the American flag. God bless America. This was the when they were playing the World Baseball Classic games. And this received also a Mint 9. So I'll take it. Hall of Famer, Ken Griffey, the kid, one of the greatest to play the game, Ken Griffey Jr. in the nine. And then out of that same set, these were the first two cards I sent out to be graded. Like I said, I think it's either a 50, I think it's a 50 card set. So this is Derek Jeter, card number one. And there he is. 2006 Upper Deck, Derek Jeter World Baseball Classics. And this received a mint nine. So sweet looking card. Flag looks amazing there on the card. USA Derek Jita. Derek Jita. And then we have this Max Scherzer. I think this was from last year. Yeah, this is last year's uh, 2019 582 Montgomery Tops. And uh, it's an autograph card. I pulled it. And it's pretty rare to get those autograph cards, but uh, here he is, Max Scherzer, Scherzer on the Nationals autograph card, pretty neat. So this received a mint nine, Max Scherzer set one autograph, 2019, 20 tops, five eight two, Montgomery number eleven. Sweet, Max Scherzer. And finally, I have this uh, Anthony Davis card. Uh, who was this? Uh, Panini Prism. So there it is. Anthony Davis. And these are hard to grade. This is a, a uniform patch card. So these are very hard to grade. Very rare when you get a 10. And look at the case. The case is like super thick. But I did submit it. There it is. Anthony Davis is cracked ice, that orange cracked ice. And it received a gem mint 10. So 2019 Panini Prism, Anthony Davis, sensational, I think it is. You know, sensations. What's this say? Oh, yeah, sensational. So 2019 Panini Prism, Anthony Davis. Sensational Swatch Orange Ice graded a gem mint 10. I will take it because these are so hard. To, these patch cards are so hard to get in a 10. So Anthony Davis, he's one of the best players in the game today. And these Prism Cracked Ice cards always look amazing. Uh, I don't know how much this is going for. I'm assuming it's going for a lot of money. So maybe I'll sell it. Who knows? So that is it, guys. Thank you for joining me on this PSA DNA reveal. I really appreciate it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I will catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Subscribe if you, if you haven't already. 
I will catch you next time. Take care. God bless. Peace.